Hey, it's Serene at Serene Vocal Studio. I am so grateful that you are here today. I loved all the feedback I got from my last Morissette video. So we're gonna take another Morissette video and we're just gonna go on a, like a Morissette kick here because you guys were so excited about it. So we're gonna do it. Tonight we're going to listen to Morissette sing Akin Ka Nalang from The Wish Bus 107.5. I'm excited. I've never heard this song. I just looked up the lyrics so I could check out what they were about. And uh, let's get to it. <laughs> she looks so pretty. Wish. 1075 <laughs> So I'm just pausing here in the, kind of in the middle of the chorus. I've never heard this song, so I don't really know the best places to pause. So please forgive me. But when she's singing in the chorus here, um, when she's saying, please be mine is the translation to English. She has such good mix that it's a beautiful mix placement. It sounds nice and uh, forward and it doesn't sound pushed at all, which is really good. We don't want any tension. It sounds beautiful. Let's keep going. There's that mix right there. into the chorus it's a beautiful mix again it's so beautiful she is tra like transitioning within her voice so nicely from that really nice light part of her voice down to that like more chesty voice it's not too chesty but like she has a pretty uh, well-rounded tone when she goes down to some of her lower notes but she's mixing quite well and transitioning beautifully she's looking like she's having such a good time which is always a good time when it comes to watching a video, right? Because you want to see the performer having a wonderful time and she is just basking. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Did you hear that squeak? When she did the da da, there was like a squeak in her voice, and it was really nice. Liked it. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Did you hear that whistle? Um, I was not expecting that. Sorry, I have to like move everything off my piano because I'm like, what the heck were those notes? <laughs> that whistle register? Totally wasn't expecting that, not at all. I thought, oh, this is, so cause I was like, this is a beautiful song. She's singing it lovely, but it's, it's pretty predictable. And so, you know, I'm not like super excited about it, but like she just did that and I'm like, that was unpredictable and very exciting. Not that you have to like do gymnastics with your voice in order to be like <gasps> amazing. Um, some of the like Dimash videos that I've looked at, he does like vocal gymnastics and it's amazing. Like it's amazing every single time, but sometimes you may just wanna like sit back and listen to something a little more relaxing. Am I right? Let's rewind just for a minute and hear that whistle register again because I'm like, oh yeah. Uh, one more time because I gotta hear that again. And she's like, comes out of it like, you were not expecting that, were you? Unless you know the song and you had heard it before, but like, surprise! <laughs> it's like this. She's like up here on this note. Sorry, my piano is muted. That's like an A6, you guys. Or is that technically A7? Uh, I don't know. It's super high. It's super, super high. Well, can we listen to it one more time and then we'll keep going, please? Will you be mad at me? Please, don't be mad. Here we go. <laughs> What's interesting, sorry, I, I'm sorry I paused again, but I wanted to see where she came off of. <laughs> And notice after she comes off that super high whistle register, she closes her mouth, kind of has to swallow because you've stretched out your vocal folds so much right there, right? And it wasn't like super breathy that she was singing. It was a very clear tone. She came down here, back down to, to a C. And it's, uh, you know, that's more of like a head to mix. I'm gonna go back one more time from the whistle part and then go into it and kind of see it, notice if it's more of that head or 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 mix. I did a video where it was like high note challenge. I didn't, I, her song should have been in my high note challenge video. In comparison, my songs were just sad. <clears throat> to be honest, hers were, her high notes. She did a little bit lower, I think, on that last one. Let's listen to it one more time on that last whistle. I just have to hear it again. You guys, this is the first time I've heard this song. So I'm like, can we hear that again? Can we hear that again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ah, I didn't go back far enough. Wish oh, wait, I did. One oh seven five. Ah, OK. 
Okay, so that last whistle was, you know, the whistle previously was like up here, but that last whistle was like right here, which is a fourth lower than that super high one, which is still um, incredibly high, but it's not like that first one. It was like, I'm gonna go as high as I possibly, possibly can. And it was uh, awesome. And it was sung with such feeling. Oh, the only other thing I wanted to tell you was the vowels. Did you notice her vowels? All throughout the song, her vowels. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. If you are somebody who aspires to be a singer, how are your vowels? Do you notice your vowels? Are you singing with your, your jaw really closed and your lips really close together? Is that happening? Because that is kind of what happens when we talk. And when we sing, we have to elongate things a little bit, right? Go check out my blog post about vowels. Um, it will be really helpful for you. Um, if you have a song that you're working on, maybe you're working on this song by Morissette, but watch your mouth in the mirror. Like if I look at my camera right here, I'm not looking at you anymore. If I look at myself in the camera, or if I'm saying, right? I'm going to get different sounds depending on how far apart my lips are and my mouth and my jaw and all the things on the inside. But if you haven't noticed the space in her mouth before or her vowels, listen to it again and just look at her vowels. They're beautiful, gorgeous. Normally any songs that are not in English are way easier to sing in terms of vowels and having beautiful vowels. English vowels for some reasons are so much harder and sometimes they're really ugly really ugly. So, um, especially for like more, uh, sacred classical songs, um, which is why a lot of the classic songs are, you know, French, Italian, German. I've sung my fair share of Italian and German, um, and a little bit of French, not a ton. That's probably one of my weaker points is I won't even talk about my French. I'm disgraced by it. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, thank you for joining me here tonight, listening to Morissette. She was incredible, super surprising, super fun. Thank you for the recommendation. I hope you join me here on my channel again soon. Please give this video a like. Subscribe below. Subscribe, my friends. You know you want to stick around. We have a lot of fun over here. And comment if you have some suggestions for what I should listen to next, or if you have a song that you want to learn. Bada boom, bada bing. All right, we'll see you next time here at Serene Vocal Studio. Peace.